Okay, let's think about continuity on functions. So for a function to be continuous at a point, three things have to basically occur. One, there has to be a point on the function at that x value. The second thing is the limit as x approaches that x value of f of x has to exist. All right, that means that as you approach from the left and right hand side, they have to come together to the exact same y value. The third thing is those two have to equal the same thing. Basically on the left hand side you have to come together and meet up at the exact same spot and the f of a uh, exists part means that point has to be in the middle where they come together. So those three conditions have to be met for a function to be continuous at a given x value. So taking a look at this function, the top one first, um, as we were trying to identify where it's discontinuous, well, we're looking for any gaps or breaks in the graph. So the first one I notice as I'm kind of tracking along from left to right is at 1. Okay, the limit exists because the left-hand side and the right-hand side come together, so the limit exists, but there's no point there. f of 1 does not exist. All right, therefore, we have a hole in the graph, or what we refer to as a removable discontinuity. All right, so if you have that open circle, the hole in the graph. So at 1, we have a problem. It's discontinuous there. Now at 3, I also think we have a problem there. Okay, this limit does not exist. Limit as x approaches 3 of, let's call it f of x, does not exist. All right, because as I trace in from the left-hand side getting closer to 3, and I trace in from the right-hand side getting closer to 3, those don't meet up. Therefore, it's discontinuous there. All right, finally, let's look at, I think our last one is a jump discontinuity, sometimes referred to as. At 4. All right, now the limit does not exist. The limit as x approaches 4 for f of x does not exist. And why that is, is as I trace in closer to 4 from the left side, it gets close to one value. And as I trace in closer to 4 from the right side, it doesn't get close to that same y value. All right, now f of 4 does exist. Is that point on the graph? but it's still discontinuous because we have that gap or break in the middle of the graph there at 4. All right, a similar problem here at the bottom. At which points is this function discontinuous? So in this case, it looks like it's only going to be at 2, where it's a removable discontinuity. All right, in that case, f of 2 exists. All right, we have the point on the graph. And the limit exists, but they, they aren't the same. All right, so because those don't meet up and they're not in the exact same place, we still have a discont uh, discontinuity in the graph. All right, at 3, we also have a gap or break here. This would be a jump discontinuity. All right, so the limit approaches 2 from the left side, approaches 1 from the right side, so that limit does not exist. All right, however, f of 3 is this point up here at 2. So that does exist. And the last thing is that 4 limit exists because we approach from the left and right hand side of the limit as x approaches 4 of this function equals 2, but f of 4 does not exist. All right, again, we would refer to this as removable because we have a, a hole in the middle of the graph. All right, one last graph to take a look at real quickly here. Where do you think we're going to be discontinuous here? Well, I think we're going to have a problem here at zero because the limit exists from the right and left hand side, meet up in the same spot, but the function's not defined there. It's an open circle. So again, that's removable. And then at two, I think we have a problem there as well. In this case, f of two is defined, it's that point on the graph, but the limit is not defined. From the left and the right hand side, we don't meet up in the middle at that point that's on the graph. All right, so that is a jump discontinuity. Everywhere else, it looks like it is going to be continuous. So I hope this helps out as you're trying to identify from graphs where we have jump discontinuities, removable discontinuities, and understanding that definition a little bit better.